Hi everyone, today we're going to introduce you to a squat. I bought myself an A. Here's Elena. So the squat is one of our foundational movement patterns and it's primarily going to work our lower body, more specifically the front of our legs, so our quads, and also our glutes, which also... Get rid of the thunder thighs. Thunder thighs are a beautiful thing. So for the squat, everyone's setup is going to be slightly different, but what I want you to do is start with your feet about hip to shoulder width apart. So because my mom has nice long legs, and so do I, I go a little bit wider. So I like to go just outside shoulder width, and then I want to point my toes to 11 and 1 on a clock. Good. So pointing your toes to 11 and 1 on the clock. Beautiful. I'm going to get you to turn and face the wall so everyone can see the way you squat. So after you've found that width and that stance, you want to think about sitting your bum down and back like you're about to sit onto a couch or onto a chair. So I'm going to have my mom just doing about a half squat. She's just going to sit her hips down and back. Good. And then stand up nice and tall. Let's go two more of those. So sitting those hips down and back like you're sitting back into a chair. Up nice and tall. We're going to do one more. Good. Up nice and tall. A couple of key things to keep in mind is your range of motion might look a little bit different. So my mom has some knee issues that we're working through. So we like to use something like the box and a pad for her to squat down to. So Simone, I'm going to have you stand in front of the box. Actually, I'm going to have you stand on the other side so everyone can see you. Good. And we're going to use this as some tactile feedback to help with that range of motion. So I'm going to sit your bum down to the pad. And what do I do with my hands? Just keep them in front of you for now until we add the point. Okay. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, that's good. So this is actually a perfect <laughs> example of this being too low. That's so legit. What we're going to do is we're going to add a med pump. <laughs> Never let them see a sweat. So now we're going to raise that height a little bit and see if it's more comfortable. So I want you to tap your bum to the ball. Good. And then stand up tall. Another thing that my mom's doing really well is as she stands up, she's going to think about pinching a penny between her butt cheeks. I know that sounds funny, but I promise you, you're probably they trying don't it right now. Anymore. So, standing up nice and tall, pinch that penny between the butt cheeks, and that's going to help bring your hips forward ever so slightly. Good. How did that feel? Fabulous. So, important things here, you want to find a stance that's comfortable, hip to shoulder width apart, toes at 11 and 1 on the clock. You're sitting down like you're trying to sit down into a chair. And if you want to find something to squat down to, just to give you some of that feedback to think, okay, I've gone far enough. And thinking about pinching that penny between the butt cheeks as you stand up. That's it. That's it. Stay well.